Pronoun. A pronoun is a word that is used to take the place of a noun. They make sentences shorter and easier to say. Example: Jane Renarda lives in a haunted house. Example: She lives in a haunted house. In this example, the word "she" is a pronoun because it takes the place of a person. Jane. He is on the telephone. We live in Spain. It is on fire. I am the only student in the class. Tennis is a fun sport. I like to play it. Alice lives on Twenty First Street. She is my best friend. What time is it? Although she lives next door, I rarely see her. My father is an architect. Sometimes. I go to work with him. Are you going to see the movie? A demonstrative pronoun is a word that takes the place of particular objects or people. Here is a list of common demonstrative pronouns. Anna, could you give me that pencil on the table over there? Lee, do you mean this pencil here? Anna, yes, that pencil. Lee, here you are. Oh, could you give me those pens on the table over there? Anna, these. Sure. Here you are. Felix, is there a hammer on that table? Marco, yes, there is. Here it is. Felix, great. Are there any nails? Marco, no, there aren't. Felix, oh, here they are. Next to me on this table, the pronoun "this" is used to refer to a singular object which is near the speaker, or here. Example: This is sweet. In this example, the pronoun "this" takes the place of an object which is near the speaker, or here. This particular object may be a strawberry in the hand of the speaker, for example. Example: Can I please have this? In this example, the pronoun "this" takes the place of an object which is near the speaker or here. The object which the word "this" takes the place of may be a toy in the hand of the speaker. For example, the pronoun "that" is used to refer to a singular object which is far from the speaker or there. Example: That is small. In this example, the pronoun "that" takes the place of an object which is far from the speaker. Or there, the pronoun these is used to refer to more than one object which is near the speaker or here. Example: These are heavy. In this example, the pronoun these takes the place of objects which are near the speaker or here. These particular objects may be twenty-pound weights in the hands of the speaker. For example, what are these? In this example, the pronoun "these" takes the place of objects which are near the speaker or here. These particular objects may be diamonds in the hands of the speaker. For example, the pronoun "those" is used to refer to more than one object which is far from the speaker or there. Example: Those are funny. In this example, the pronoun "those." Takes the place of an object which is far from the speaker or there. These particular objects may be clowns in a circus, for example. Example: I want three of those. In this example, the pronoun "those" takes the place of more than one object which is far from the speaker or there. The object which the word "those" takes the place of may be chocolate candies on a store shelf which is far from the speaker. For example, the pronoun "here" is used to refer to a location near the speaker. Example: Here are the keys. In this example, the pronoun "here" takes the place of a location which is near the speaker. This particular location may be on the table close to the speaker. For example, please come here. In this example, the pronoun "here." Takes the place of a location which is near the speaker. 
The location which the word here takes the place of may be on top of a hill, which the speaker is standing on, for example. The pronoun there is used to refer to a location far from the speaker. Example, there is my car. In this example, the pronoun there takes the place of a location which is far from the speaker. This particular location may be in the school parking lot, for example. I want to go there. In this example, the pronoun there takes the place of a location which is far from the speaker. The location which the word there takes the place of may be the moon, for example. A personal pronoun is a word that takes the place of names of people or things. We. The pronoun we is used to refer to a first person plural noun. Example. We are friends. In this example, the pronoun we takes the place of the speaker and one or more other people. You. The pronoun you is used to refer to a second person singular or plural noun. Example. I will go with you at noon. In this example, the pronoun you takes the place of one or more other people that the speaker is referring to directly. He. The pronoun he is used to refer to a third person singular living male noun. Example. He is my cousin. In this example, the pronoun he takes the place of a single living male that the speaker is referring to indirectly. She. The pronoun she is used to refer to a third person singular living female noun. Example. Does she know what time it is? In this example, the pronoun she takes the place of a single living female that the speaker is referring to indirectly. It. The pronoun it is used to refer to a third person non-living noun. Example. Can I take it with me? In this example, the pronoun it takes the place of a single non-living noun. They. The pronoun they is used to refer to the third person plural noun. Example. They are going to the beach this weekend. In this example, the pronoun they takes the place of one or more living people that the speaker is referring to indirectly. Hello students. Welcome back to class 6 English classes. In our last class, we discussed pronouns. I hope all of you must have enjoyed the video which is attached to this class in the beginning. Was it interesting for you? It was interesting and at the same time informative also. So you have to repeatedly watch the video and understand it. In the video, whatever things we discussed, it is told, it is shown in an animated format. So all of you must have enjoyed it. Is it not so children? Now we will continue <coughs> our textual exercises based on pronouns. All of you please open page number 36 of your grammar textbook. This is your grammar textbook and page number 36. So in our last class we discussed what are pronouns. Pronouns are those words which are used in the place of a noun. Why, why do we use pronouns? We use pronouns in order to avoid repetition. And then we saw that there are different kinds of pronouns like personal pronoun, possessive pronoun, demonstrative pronoun, then reflexive pronoun, emphatic pronoun, indefinite pronoun, interrogative pronoun, and relative pronoun. So, that time I told you what are the functions of each of these pronouns. Is it? Now we move on to the next exercise. 
exercise D be completed till C. Now next is D. Complete these sentences with suitable reflexive or emphasizing pronouns. Write R for reflexive and E for emphasizing pronouns. First one. Clara considers herself the best athlete in the class. So here herself is used as a reflexive pronoun. Understood? Now next one. Dinesh fell from the swing and hurt. What is the pronoun there we have to use? And hurt himself. And what sort of a pronoun it is? It is reflexive pronoun. My friend did the assignment easily. Though I dash could not complete it. What do you use it? What will you use there? Though I myself could not complete it. So what sort of a pronoun is it? I myself. Giving emphasis on the noun. So it is emphatic pronoun. What is it? The pronoun is I myself. And it is emphatic pronoun. Now next question. Mother mended the torn shirt. Mother mended the torn shirt. Herself. What is the pronoun there? Herself. And it is what sort of a pronoun? It is emphatic pronoun. Now question number 5. You and your brother must iron your uniform. You and your brother must iron your uniform. What will be the pronoun there? Yourself. And what is the usage there? It is again emphatic pronoun. It is again emphatic pronoun. We must prepare dash for a long week. We must prepare ourselves. We must prepare ourselves. And what pronoun it is? It is reflexive pronoun. Now next one. Question number 7. All the winners thought dash lucky. All the winners thought themselves. All the winners because it is third person. All the winners thought themselves. And what sort of a pronoun it is? It is Reflexive pronoun. Now, you and I should teach dash to paint on fabrics. You and I should teach, how do you say, ourselves. What sort of a pronoun it is? It is reflexive pronoun. Should teach ourselves. It is also reflexive pronoun. Now, Edward Dash could not believe the news. Edward himself could not believe the news. Edward himself. It is emphatic pronoun. Farida, did you make this tasty sandwich? Did you make? So, the pronoun will be yourself. It is delicious. So what is the usage there? It is again reflexive pronoun. It is reflexive pronoun. So now we move on to the next exercise. Exercise E. Complete these sentences with suitable indefinite pronouns. We saw what are indefinite pronouns. Someone, somebody, anyone, anybody. Something. These are all nothing. These are all indefinite pronouns. Shall we begin the test? Is everyone ready? One is done for you as an example. Now question number two. 
have we got dash we need to make this dish so how do you write have we got something what is it have we got have we got something we need to make this dish the television has broken down do you know dash who can repair it do you know someone who can repair it do you know someone who can repair it there is dash in the refrigerator we need to go to the market there is nothing in the refrigerator what is the answer there is nothing so students these are all indefinite pronoun next one question number 5 is there dash else that you need my help with is there anything else is there is there anything else that you need my help with now question number 6 dash told me that there is a good library near the park so what will be the pronoun there somebody told me somebody somebody told me now seventh one dash was at home so the postman could not deliver the parcel what will be the uh, indefinite pronoun there nobody was at home what is the answer nobody nobody was at home so the postman could not deliver the parcel she said she needs to talk to us about dash she needs to talk to us about something she needs to talk to us about something now we move on to the next exercise question number f complete these sentences with the correct interrogative pronouns question number f yes dash are they doing in the garden it is given there what are they doing in the garden next one dash slippers are these naturally you know what will be the question word there <coughs> whose slippers are these next one dash is your grandmother what will be the uh, uh, pronoun used there where is your grandmother where is your grandmother now next one dash on my keys have you seen them what will be the answer where are my keys where are my keys now next one fifth one dash is the next vaccination it's a question so what will be the in the uh, interrogative pronoun there when is the next vaccination when is the next vaccination dash is the shortest route what will be the question word there which is the shortest route which is the shortest route now dash is the weather like in darjeeling so which question word you normally use there how is the weather weather like in darjeeling how is the weather like in darjeeling next one dash do you have the most confidence in what will be the word there dash do you have the most confidence in which one you will use there 
whom do you have the most confidence in now complete these sentences next exercise with the relative pronoun in the box first one is done for you the man whom i met in the conference last week is a famous artist now next one number 2 so exercise g question number 2 the girl dash is carrying the bouquet is my sister the girl who is carrying what is the relative pronoun there the girl who is carrying now third one the sofa that i have bought is very comfortable the sofa that i have bought what is the relative pronoun there that i have bought okay now next one fourth one the person that spectacles were broken was very grateful for your help so the person whose spectacles the person whose spectacles were broken now next one i can tell you that the outcome will be so what do you use there i can tell you what the outcome will be what the outcome will be now next question number 6 govin has no idea dash to take care of his mother's plants govin has no idea how to take care of how to take care of his mother's plants seventh one this is the place dash the demonstration took place what is the relative pronoun there this is the place where the demonstration took place this is the place where the demonstration took place now next one sakina often uses the purse dash we gifted her sakina often uses the purse that we gifted her the first that we gifted her now an antecedent is the noun that the pronoun replaces or refers back to the pronoun must agree with the antecedent in number and gender a singular pronoun must replace a singular noun that you know but that's why ram is replaced by he ram and shyam replaced by they a singular pronoun must replace a singular noun a singular pronoun must replace sorry a plural pronoun must replace a plural noun a masculine pronoun must replace a masculine noun you know that rama is replaced by she and a feminine pronoun is replaced noun is replaced by a feminine pronoun hasna has a basketball sorry hansa has a basketball she often plays with it hansa is a girl that's why it is replaced by using the pronoun she my parents are very kind hearted my parents so then what is used there the pronoun they often help others parents are replaced by they now next exercise complete these sentences with the correct pronouns the carpenters are working in the bedroom they are building a cupboard now number 2 rajesh boarded the bus dash sat next to the window what is the answer he what is the pronoun there he sat next to the window sandhya went to the market because dash needed groceries for the house because she needed because she needed groceries for the house 
The elephant is a large animal. Dash has a long trunk. It has a long trunk. Elephant. So the pronoun for elephant is it. The children are feeding the ducks. Dash have brought bread to feed them. They have who the children. They have brought bread to feed them. Now next one. Mr. Sarkar is a policeman. Dash wears a uniform to work. Mr. Sarkar, masculine. So he, he wears a uniform. Understood children? See, grammar activity, your tongue twister is given here. She sells seashells on the seashore. See, so from this chapter, what did you understand? What are pronouns? So what are pronouns? Pronouns are those words which are used in the place of a noun. Then, pronoun has got different uh, forms or uses in different contexts. Like what? Personal pronoun. Then, yes, possessive pronoun, demonstrative pronoun, reflexive pronoun, emphasizing or emphatic pronoun, then indefinite pronoun, interrogative pronoun and relative pronoun. The function of all these, what are they? They are all used as pronoun. But these pronouns have got different function in different contexts. In certain contexts, it will be a question word which will be replacing or which will be pointing to the noun. Sometimes it will be a demonstrative word like this or that or these pointing out to a noun. Then sometimes it will be that self form itself, myself, yourself that is used in two ways. One is reflexive pronoun and one is emphatic pronoun. So children, all of you have to listen to the class and understand it repeatedly because pronouns very important. Pro, the word, def, the definition of pronoun it is very easy to understand but the functions which pronouns have in different contexts that is very important for you. So repeatedly listen to the class and try to understand it. Okay children, all of you have to listen to it and learn it. Okay, thank you.